Okay, so welcome back to this course. So now in this video, let's create our this confirm order component. All right. So I simply go to my uh, VS Code and close this and also this one. All right. I simply go to cart, create a new file that is called confirm order dot js. So R A C F E to create my basic markup. And let's first of all go to our uh, shipping. And let's pull out this basic data so control c put that here and we need here the fragment only and we don't need the countries so metadata checkout steps then we don't need your dispatch here also don't we don't need this and also you have to only bring in the link so import link from the react router DOM all right and let's also bring in here the history history and then first of all let's pull out some data from the state so first of all I have to bring in the cons let's bring in the card items from use selector state dot card let's also bring in the shipping info so card items and then the shipping info and then we have to bring in the user from state dot off okay and then after that let's let's actually create here our fragment put in here fragment and then the let's actually copy this one Control C, put that here. So we are on the confirm order page. So confirm order, and now we are on shipping. And I have also put in here the confirm order because now right now we are on the confirm order step. All right. So let's go to my notepad and copy my marker for the confirm order. So I simply copy it from here. Control C, go back and put that here. Okay. And I think so. We have to close this image tag. So simply save it. Press Control H to replace all the class with the class name. Alright. So first of all, I have to display here name of the user so i simply put in here in, in front of name i type here user exist and user dot name right and then the phone number so i simply put in here the shipping info dot phone number okay and then the in the address i simply have to concatenate them so that is backticks i put in here shipping info dot address and that comma then we have to put in here shipping info dot uh, city okay and then we have to put in here shipping info dot postal code and then also you have to put in here the shipping info dot country all right simply save it and then after that we have to loop through the cart items so after the h4 um, here i simply loop through them so so cart items whatever in the items in the card items dot map I map through each item right and then let's put it here the fragment and in that I will simply put this HR div and also this HR simply cut it put that right here 
and let's first of all give this a key that is the item dot product right and then here in the source we have to put the item dot image and then the id oh sorry link that is item dot name and let's put it here the link and the link is going to be slash product then slash uh, item dot product okay and then we have to spare the price so what I do is I have first of all display here the quantity so item dot quantity and then the item dot price item dot price and then let's put it here item dot quantity multiply by item dot price okay so let's save it and then after that we have to display here the subtotal the shipping price tax and the total price okay so let's actually calculate them so i simply go to the top and i put in here calculate order prices so first of all cons items price so what is the actual price of the uh, uh, items basically okay without tax without shipping so card items dot reduce again you have to use the reduce function pass in the accumulator the item and then accumulator plus item dot price multiply it with the item dot quantity simple again that formula all right and then this is items price let's calculate the shipping price so const shipping price will be item price if the item price is greater than 200 dollars then the shipping is going to be zero else it is going to be 25 dollars all right you can also calculate it if you want in your own way so if the user uh, item price is greater than 200 dollars and the shipping will be zero either it will be 25 dollars right and then the tax price so cons tax price again you can um, change your formula according to requirements so let's put in here the number and let's put in here the five percent tax right so 0 0.05 and i multiply it with the items price okay and then dot two fix put in here two okay so that is multiply so the tax price is the five percent so 0 0.05 percent of the in, uh, items price and i will uh, fix it to the two values after point so this is the tax price then at the end we have to calculate the total price of the order okay so total price is the item price plus the shipping price plus the tax price okay and then dot to fix it to the two all right so let's actually simply save it and put that here so first of all the items price okay then put in here the shipping price and then we have to put here the tax price okay and then let's put in here the total price simply save it and now I simply go back to my app.js let's bring in the confirm order so control D confirm order 
and let's put that right here slash order slash confirm and then the confirm order so we save it and in the shipping i have to actually go to the slash order slash confirm simply save it and now if i go back i reload this page and if i go to continue you will see here right so you have two air apple ports two multiple 126 is 253 dollars this is the name this is the phone number this is the address all right you can see that here and the order summary is 253 is the subtotal shipping bill is zero tax is 12.7 percent and total is 266.168 all right so this is the order summary and you can also see that our this step is also now orange because we have also completed this shipping step and also we have completed this confirm order step we only have now completed this payment step all right and also i have to save the data in the session storage so i simply go back and let's on the proceed to payment button i type here on click i need to proceed to payment all right simply copy this function let's have to define it so const this one equals to so const data will be equal to first of all i have to put in here the items price that we have calculated here that is items price dot to fix to two okay and we also have to pull, uh, put in here the shipping price shipping price and the tax price and then the total price okay and then let's actually put in the session storage so session storage dot set item that is the order info and json dot stringify the data and then i will uh, history dot push to slash all right why i am pushing this data in the session story is because when i have to put a new order after the payment then i also have to pass the shipping price the tax price to the back end so that's why rather than calculating this price again on the payment page i will store them in the session storage and then i will pull out this from the session storage again okay so session storage is just like the local storage but this data get lost when we remove the when we close the chrome okay so once you close the chrome this data will be deleted from the chrome all right so that's why i have put that in the session storage instead of local storage so now we are also done with our and if i go to here and click on proceed to payment okay so if i go to the inspect go to the application and here i have the session storage this one you will see here our order info is right here okay well in my next video i have to handle the payment i will use stripe for this you can also use the paypal or whatever you want to do but i will use the stripe in this course so in my next video i will add stripe on my back end then we will handle that on the front end also okay so next video is going to be part of the back end.